Hello, I am Christy McGee, and what an awesome day we have had here today. Oh my gosh, breakfast, lunch, appetizers, and dinner, and now dessert. Thank you all so much for spending the day with us. This has just been so exciting. I am so happy to be here with you. And what I'm gonna showcase tonight is the dinner. It's the Tuscan grilled salmon, but I'm actually not gonna grill it. I am gonna use our awesome sheet pans and liners. And uh, earlier today, you heard us mention that we're highlighting the Simple Summer Collection. It's page 15 in our catalog. And I am going to be making salmon on the sheet pan. And the smaller sheet pans come in a set of two, and you can also buy the liners that come in a set of two. And then uh, I'm also going to be using our multi-purpose steamer, which you've been seeing highlighted today. And it comes with a lid and also with a tray. And I am gonna be doing potatoes and asparagus and uh, just to let you guys know, this was my first time making asparagus and salmon in this way. <laughs> so I've been with Epicure for two years, almost two years since they launched. And I feel like every time I jump on and I see new videos, uh, I just always learn something new. And so I know a lot of you have been with us for just as long and you're also learning new things and you're willing to try new things and just you're, you're open to having Epicure in your kitchen and we couldn't be more grateful. So. Um, the seasonal things that you're seeing us highlight is that every season they come out with a new collection. And so, um, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be making salmon. And I decided that I'm going to do different flavorings on each of these uh, pieces of salmon. So I've just cut this up and I'm going to be doing the Tuscan chicken burger. So first of all, I said we were going to do the grilling the grilling recipe right, but I'm doing it in the oven. And I'm also using the Tuscan chicken burger on my salmon. So if you guys haven't seen yet today, there's a ton of versatility in our products and the flavors are just awesome. So um, just, you know, a great way to try it. You could make this dinner with chicken. You could do it with pork. There's just, again, so much versatility. So I'm gonna do um, one piece with the Tuscan burger. I'm gonna do another piece with the West Coast Burger, and then I'm gonna also do the teriyaki, which I believe was highlighted earlier. Um, so what I'm gonna do is start with the multi-purpose steamer, and I'm going to put the potatoes, all I did was cut up the potatoes with our chef knife. This knife is awesome. And uh, I cut it up into, and this was, um, I asked my husband to go grab some potatoes, and I have not ever bought these before, but they're red fingerling potatoes. So um, again, something new. Uh, my husband and I both cook. I wouldn't say yet that I enjoy it. So if any of you are out there um, with me, it is not something that has ever come real natural for me. I'm the youngest of five and uh, I've had to really work on it. And I love that Epicure makes it super easy. Um, but I was also a college athlete and I knew and always have valued, I knew the value and always have valued the importance of eating healthy. And so I love that Epicure ingredients. They're completely clean and you can see that in the cover of our, in the inside cover of our Never Ever List. Inside cover of our catalog is the Never Ever List. Um, definitely something that really attracted me to the company because I wanted to be able to get behind a company that could offer clean ingredients. And so what I've done here is I've put the potatoes in, and like I said, I cut them up, and I'm gonna actually use the red garlic on the potatoes. That is part of our summer collection. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some on here. We do have these, <laughs> I have a ton of these, I have three. <laughs> to me, that's a ton, um, especially when I don't always measure. But you can um, use your four and one spoon to sprinkle the red garlic on. And then I'm gonna put the tray on. And I tried this last night just because I was curious. Like I said, I've never done this before um, with the asparagus, but I read 
that with this big of a piece of asparagus, because sometimes you can get them really thin, that it just said to have it. So I'm going to lay these in here and you can see, you can hear the um, microwave beeping because I wanted to show you guys what I do with potatoes too. Okay, so here it is. Just put them in there. And if you have really big eaters, you can pile stuff in here. You're just gonna cook it a little bit longer. And for us, our family, we have two boys that are uh, nine and 10 and a half. And it's usually my husband and I eating because of COVID, we both are working from home. And so we cook for two during the day and four at night. And um, the boys love to eat. So we have one who's super adventurous and the other one who's kind of picky like me, I'm really picky. Um, so we, we love the, the variety. I mean, I'm able to do all sorts of things um, with the seasonings and with the different options and can easily accommodate for the family. So also if you guys have um, food allergies in your family, Epicure is 100% gluten free. Um, it's like almost all dairy free and vegan. It's really close. It's like six or seven products. So all I've done here is put the lid on and oh, I have to take the other one out. You guys will see this. I, I started this earlier, you can see. Whoa, look at how fast that was. I just did my potatoes on this one, but I'll show you guys. And I'm gonna put this in for four minutes. It's, it really is a voila moment. You guys, the steamer is incredible. So um, this is what the potatoes look like. And the oven, <laughs> Whew. see, I always tell people, you can really multitask with Epicure. And so here I am, like literally doing two dinners at once so that I can showcase it for you guys and keep it short. Um, this is what our uh, large, the, the one that you get one of the trays and one of the sheet, the sheet pan and then one sheet pan liner. And so I'm actually gonna set this on our um, roll up rack, which was highlighted, I believe Amy highlighted it. And I'm just gonna set this on the roll up rack. And then in the meantime, I will prep this. All right, so what was I gonna do with my potatoes? Well, when I have the potatoes, I love to use the meat masher to make mashed potatoes. And usually it's about eight minutes in our, wait, can you see what I'm doing? In our microwave, it's about eight minutes. And this meat masher is incredible. I absolutely love it. You can use any kind of milk in your potatoes. And we also add butter. And right now what the seasoning that I used was the red garlic. And I am just mashing and stirring. Can you guys see this? It is not dried out. It is moist and awesome. And this is our, and you can actually mash this more however you like it, but I do like it with some clumps, my, my mashed potatoes with some clumps. And then um, I, a lot of times, I add salt because Epicure is a low sodium, low sugar company. And so the thing I love about our um, sea salt, black pepper, um, this is not gonna come in the collection, but we all have you know table salt and pepper um, in our kitchens. And so I love being in control of how much salt I put on my food. And it has an adjustable grind on the top. And the other thing that's really cool about these is that you can actually take them off and put them on the top of other spice bottles too. So you can grind on those as well. So I may add a little bit of salt. And the other thing you'll notice is that um, this, whoops, <laughs> this um, sea salt is, is uh, Himalayan sea salt and we ran out. So we just refilled it with the salt we had on hand. So again, so easy to use things that you already have in your kitchen. So all I did, oh, I didn't even show you. Oh, now I'm gonna put too much salt on here, right? I just twisted it a little bit and we have our mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna just stir that. That's all done. And now I'm gonna show you guys the teriyaki and the West Coast burger and the Tuscan chicken burger. And I've already made up the Tuscan chicken burger. What I was gonna do is show you guys, I'm already almost out of this one. And so of course I had another one on hand and everybody's been showing you how, how full they filled the bottles. 
and then all I'm going to do, I, I put um, oil and the seasoning in, and I'm just going to coat the salmon. This could be chicken, this could be pork, whatever you guys want it to be. And then um, for the sake of, well, so then I read about this. This is brand new for me, but everybody's been saying that they love this West Coast burger seasoning. And I read about it and it's supposed to be, it says on the back, cause you've got all of the directions on the back. And it says that you'll use um, sockeye salmon drained and then a cup of mashed potatoes, which I just made an egg and two tablespoons of seasoning with a little bit of mustard. So I thought, well, why not just get creative? And I'm going to put two tablespoons of this in and I'm gonna put some mustard in. Can you guys see me do this? Oops, I put a lot of mustard in that one. Oh well, I'm sure it's still gonna be awesome. And then I'm gonna put some oil and I'm gonna mix this up using our three in one spoon. And I'm gonna just make another if this is how it called to make the actual West Coast burger is with salmon, it's gotta be delicious. So I'm just going to try it out. Um, I am not usually the uh, adventurous one. And it looks awesome. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and so the next one is the teriyaki. And same kind of thing, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of the teriyaki in here and then it says one tablespoon you guys can't see what i'm doing come on christy all right so two tablespoons of this and then one tablespoon of the soy sauce and you can use a low sodium soy sauce any of our meals that call for soy sauce i actually don't add salt to them because the soy sauce we just do the fully leaded normal soy sauce and so you're gonna stir this up. And remember, 100% gluten-free, mostly vegan, um, egg-free. All of our products are egg-free too. You might have an egg recipe, like this one called for egg, but if you guys uh, have an allergy to egg, which I do, um, you can easily accommodate. Okay, so some of these might blend, but I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, 425. And uh, for us, it was 12 minutes. And I'm going to show you guys, ooh, and I actually picked that up. I probably shouldn't have, but it's cooled down now. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys that the sheet pan liners, instead of you know, using the, the paper liners, I, uh, parchment paper, I haven't used it in so long. I can take this off and I have a completely clean pan. And the salmon is, uh, you know, right here. And you can actually, I mean, you can see it's super easy to clean and you can portion it and it's perfect. It just slides right off. Oops, it's kind of slippery. Um, so it sits right on the plate and, um, and then I can put my potatoes on here as well as my <laughs> juggalo. It's so empowering, you guys. I hope that you feel the same way. Especially, I mean, I know a lot of you do love to cook and that is amazing and I, you inspire me. Um, but I am having fun, so I guess that's one thing. All right, so there are uh, the asparagus and that is the steam. So, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Is I forgot to put the red garlic on top of my asparagus and salt and pepper on that and so i'm going to use my the kitchen set if you don't have the kitchen set it's really awesome you can buy the three in one spoon by itself but the kitchen set um, you're going to want it all anyway it's really awesome so i'm going to just grab these and set them on the plate and i have a very well balanced dinner and uh, we always make sure we have something on the plate that the kids will love and something on the plate that they are willing to try new most days. Um, all right, so just to recap, what I highlighted was the 
Tuscan, Tuscan grilled salmon in, this, in the uh, sheet pan liner in the oven. But even though it says grilled, I did it in the oven. All of our cookware, like the steamer, if you're not using the microwave, you can use that in the oven. Um, we also have a wok for stovetop cooking and there's all sorts of things you can do. Again, very versatile. And what, I, what we all today have highlighted is our uh, some simple summer collection. And after dinner, a lot of times we want dessert. And I am gonna take no extra time because I'm already well past my time. Um, I wanna just mention that we have desserts in the simple summer collection. You can get the citrus lime no bake cheesecake. It is only available in the collection right now, um, but you also can get pudding. And one of our favorite things to do with the pudding is you whip this up literally two minutes and 10 minutes in the refrigerator, you have pudding. One of our favorite things to do is to use our four cup prep bowl, our one cup prep bowl that comes in a four pack. We also have a four cup prep bowl. I whip it up with some whipped cream and then I use our summer berry on it as well and I have dessert. It literally is that fast. Um, we also have red pepper jelly in that collection if you want to do that with some crackers for an appetizer or a dessert. Um, it, it is so awesome. You guys, thank you so much for spending the day with us. Um, if you saw all of these today and you thought, oh my gosh, I'd love to do that join us. This has been such an amazing, amazing experience. Like I said, I signed on with the launch. We have just this incredible community of people that are positive and just so uplifting and so empowering. And we work with people like you, our amazing customers who just lighten our every day. And um, if for some reason, you know, maybe you are thinking you'd like to start with hosting, our host benefits are incredible. And um, if that, you know, hey, you can also still get these products in your kitchen. So either way, you have some options. Um, when you are watching this one, and maybe you missed one earlier in the day, go to the announcements and all four of the demonstrations today will be posted in the announcements. And be sure to talk to the person that invited you on, whether it was a host or a best friend or a consultant. We are all really happy that you are here and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.